I just want to just highlight a few things. I, I'm worried, really, about how much the fuzzy thinking is going on in the world. Uh, you know, fuzzy thinking, people just not thinking straight. What we're not valuing is knowledge as process rather than knowledge as an answer. If you're an employer and two candidates come up looking for a job, and you're interviewing the two candidates, and, and you say, oh, as for part of this interview, I just want to ask you, what's the height of the spire on this building that we're in? And the candidate says, oh, I was, I, I was, a, I was a, 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 an architect. I've majored in architecture for a while, and I memorized the heights of all the buildings on campus. I know. The height of that spire is 150 feet. In fact, 155 feet tall. Okay, turns out that's the right answer. That's the right answer. And the person came up with it in seconds. That person goes away, the next candidate walks in. Uh, do you know the height of the spire on this building? The candidate says, no, but I'll be right back. Person runs outside, measures the length of the shadow of that spire on the ground, measures the length of her, her own shadow, ratios the height to the shadows, comes up with a number, runs back inside, it's about 150 feet. Who are you going to hire? I'm hiring the person who figured it out, even though it took that person longer, even though the person's answer is not as precise. I'm hiring that person, because that person knows how to use the mind in a way not previously engaged. You realize when you know how to think, it empowers you far beyond those who know only what to think. In fact, I should tweet that. That's a tweetable thought. I mean, <laughs> just hang on a sec. I'm going to tweet that. Just forgive me. I'm just, excuse me. For more interesting videos like this one, please subscribe.